Hi, that's me in the reflection. Today I'm going to tell you about the Nikon D7200's video capabilities and how you can get the most out of it. So once your camera's on, go ahead and go to the menu right here in the top left. Open up the video settings here on the left. Looks like a camera on a tripod. And you see the frame size frame rate. Here are the options that are available to you by default. You notice that the bottom options are open, but the top two are grayed out. You can't get 60 FPS or 50 FPS in 1080p. Now why is that? Well, the software and the sensor can't handle 1080p at 60 frames per second with the full frame size. So you've got to change the frame size image area here to 1.3x crop. It's in the same menu, it's just on the next page down. Now when you go back, those options are going to be available. So right now we're at 1920 by 1080 p at 30 frames a second. We're going to switch to video, open up live, frame, live view, and you see up here that you've got 20 minutes of video. Now the only problem with switching to 60 p, 60 frames per second, is that that time is now cut to 10 minutes which isn't really enough to do a lot of things that you may want to do. So what you got to do is determine exactly how much time you need to record versus what frames you're going to want to record. I've done a few tests, just visual tests, nothing scientific, on the difference between 30p and 60p and for most things that extra 10 minutes of recording is more valuable to me than the extra 30 frames a second unless I'm doing something that I would like to slow down or that I would like the movement to be exceptionally crisp on. So it's up to you to determine if that's what you're looking for. Now another useful thing here is the autofocus mode there's a button up here on the focus wheel where you change from autofocus to manual focus. Now when you push that button, it looks like this when you push it, just push down. Uh, so you push that button and it highlights the AFF. And with the back wheel you can change to AFS which means it must be, must be triggered to autofocus or F which will make it automatically focus as you can see it's trying to do right there. The front wheel so this is the back wheel right here, and the front wheel is right here. The back wheel is the one that allows you to change the mode. The front wheel will let you change wide, normal, pinpoint, or person. Wide can get you into a little bit of trouble because it tries to focus on too many different things at once, and you'll hear the probably see it right there. Every single little move has it refocusing and it's doing that bracketing lens movement and it's really loud when you're recording with the internal mic. Um, but basically that's about it. I would recommend that if you're trying to record a YouTube video or anything like that that you make sure that you're going to be under 10 minutes if you're recording in the 60 frames a second or make sure that you are in the proper mode to get the amount of recording time you want in one take. Otherwise, you'll just lose a lot of your video. It shuts off without any warning. Um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you watching. And if you get any questions, ask in the comments. I'll try to answer. Thanks.